Driving through the small Indiana town of close to 500, there are no indications that it's the center of cutting-edge technology. This town of Reynolds is being powered from something that will never be in short supply around here, manure. We're taking gas from poop and running the big engines and making electricity. Local farmer and president of Biotown Ag, Brian Furr, is overseeing the project that has piqued the interest of people all over the world. People in the, in the corporate world and throughout are, are talking about sustainability on a day-to-day -day basis, and I'm not sure they really um, understand the true definition of sustainability. And to me, sustainability means that we have a never-ending supply, and that's really what we're truly trying to do on this farm. At heart, Fur says he's just a farm boy despite working to make Reynolds the first energy self-sufficient community in America. But why Reynolds, Indiana? White County Economic Development Director Connie Neininger says they have many of the resources needed to pull this off. Within a 15 mile radius of Reynolds, we have 150,000 plus head of hog. We have the crossroads, we have highways crossing in the center of Reynolds, we have railroads crossing in the center of Reynolds. Our tour started with the processing of the manure. It's all dumped here, we take the loader, we scoop it up, and we dump it into the pit, okay? And then the, in the pit, we, we mix it in with the water and liquefy it. The liquid is then pumped into a tank called the digester. It's the size of a football field, 16 feet into the ground. We've just simply made a very, very large cow stomach. Um, so we put all this in there, it's sealed, there's no oxygen in it. The organic matter breaks down emitting methane gas that travels through the pipes into the engine room. Three generators fueled from the methane gas produce electricity that goes back into the electric grid. So we're producing a little over about 2,500 kilowatts of electricity. Um, the town of Reynolds at peak will use, will use 2,800 kilowatts. But the process doesn't end there. The leftover solids and liquids from the digester are separated. The liquids become organic fertilizer for crops. The solids are put back in the bottom of cattle pens to absorb more waste. Even the heat from the generators is used to keep the temperature in the digester the same level as a cow's stomach. I think farmers realize they have to change the way they're operating if they're going to continue to be in business. And so with this new idea that was looking at agriculture, it, it was a welcoming change. Now that the process is in place, Nininger is hoping to draw companies to White County that will capitalize on these new technologies. For now, the key component is education. They are offering tours to industry leaders, educators, students, and the public.